Geometry and Construction is a interdisciplinary class where students learn their geometry through the construction of a house. So they are, they're going to work on the house all year. At the end of the year, we're going to move this house to a lot that the city of Evanston has given us uh, to put the house on. We're going to put the foundation. It's going to be a beautiful, nice house. And we're going to sell it to someone who lives in Evanston who qualifies uh, for an affordable housing. Mary, Joy Heineman and myself, um about a year and a half ago, went through the training um, and really, really was able to learn about the program and to learn about the curriculum and how it's developed. We're looking at geometry through the lens of how you build a home, and so you know it isn't necessarily specific to every aspect of the house, but just how to build a house in general. The curriculum is basically tying geometry into building a house. So what we do in the actual building side is what dictates what we learn in geometry. Whereas in a regular geometry class, you know, they start in unit one and pretty much move through the book. In geometry construction, you know, we may start in chapter 10 and go to chapter 20, then back to seven, then to two, um, all based upon what we're doing with inside the building. So we do use some of our classroom time to talk about um, what we're gonna do when we're outside the next day, just so kids can visualize what we're doing. Um, Matt Kaiser has done a great job of actually drawing out the layouts of how the walls should look, um, which has been really good in terms of productivity. One of the biggest concerns that we see with students is engagement and understanding why do I have to learn this. And when students are learning geometry, geometry through building a house that someone's going to live in someday, it's a kind of a game changer in terms of their engagement. I'm more of a hands-on person, so I like to use my hands a lot. I mean, the class is cool, but it's like, Besides the weather is way more fun, uh, we can do a lot of art and I kind of wanted to do construction when I get older. So it's like more of an um, experience, I'll say. Some, in some classes, you're like, why am I taking this class for future things? Like, it won't help for what I'm going to do in life, but it shows how you can use geometry in everyday life if you're like a builder. In regular geometry class, you're sitting in a classroom instead of building a house. One of, one of our big goals was to really involve the community. And in doing so, we really reached out to a lot of our community members that own businesses. Um, one of the big ones has been Evans and Lumber. You know, they've been a great support in not only donating materials, but time and knowledge. There just aren't that many good, really skilled craftsmen out there. And what I'm figuring is that maybe one or two of these kids walks away and goes into the trades or becomes a contractor or a builder and I think this was all worthwhile. Having kids of my own, there's just, there just aren't that many classes that they walk away with tangible skills, something that they're working with their hands. And the thought that, you know, that these kids could actually put together something and walk away and be proud of something that, that they've put their hands into, you know, physically built, it was really exciting to me. You know, one of the things we've been trying to do is make sure that every kid that comes out of this school is well prepared for the next step. And, you know, kids are drawn to different things. And in the past, uh, you know, there's been this perception that, that uh, projects like this, classes like this, didn't have rigor. And that's all changing now. Uh, this class, uh, of course, is interdepartmental. The math department uh, designed the curriculum math curriculum and uh, it's very rigorous and so you know when we're seeing kids uh, uh, from all stripes that are coming that are drawn to this class and I think it's really a model for the future and helps us uh, gonna help us attain our goal of making sure that every kid is well prepared for the next step. This is awesome not only is it great for the school and the kids to have this experience but certainly for the Evanston community this is really um, um, Exciting. I'm just, I can't wait to see this house done so that we can actually move it to a part of the city uh, where it's going to be used.